Welcome to update 3.2 of the Stream Deck MIDI plugin. This update adds Mackie control actions to Stream Deck Plus dials. There is a Mackie control action and a multi Mackie action, but let's start with the Mackie control action that looks very much like the generic MIDI action. The main difference is that instead of selecting which MIDI command to use, you select which Mackie command to use. With the rotate action, you can control faders, v-pots and scrub wheel. With the press action, you can control buttons. And with the rotate while pressed action, you can control a little bit of both. But I come back to that. So I can control the volume fader in my mixer. And with the V-Pot, I can control the panning or whatever the V-Pot is assigned to control. If I have the fader selected, I can also display the V-Meter in the dial display. So if I press play in Cubase, I have the V-Meter visible in the dial display. For the press action, I can select, for instance, the mute function for the channel. So if I press the dial, I can toggle the mute state. And the rotate while pressed action. You have the same functions as the rotate action, so you can control faders, v-pots and scrub wheel. But you also have some button functions, like cursor movements and channel selection, where controlling it with a dial makes sense. So, for instance, if you have the selected channel, you can select previous next channel just by pressing and rotating the dial. Very simple. These button functions that you can control are defined in the Mackie Control layout file. So it's important that you have the correct layout selected. And if you have a custom layout, you need to check the built-in layouts to see what you need to add to have these functions available. With the multi Mackey action, you have four Mackey control actions available for a single dial, just as in the multimedia action. And you have basically the same options as for the Mackey control action. One change that is also available for the multimedia action is that the selected item indication is a bit more flexible. So you have some additional choices on how to indicate the selected item. And you can also select which color you want the indication to have. An example for how you can use the multi Mackey action is like this, where you have four multi Mackey actions with four channels each. And if I press play in my door, I have the view meters for 16 channels visible in the display at the same time. That's all for this update. Thanks for watching.